This solution number one is a easy one. Simply close down Premiere Pro and then start it again. And if that doesn't work, reboot your computer. As this is known to solve many bugs and also it will free up some system memory. The second solution or thing to make sure of is that you meet the minimum requirements to run Premiere Pro. I will leave a link to this page here in the description of the video. And you want to make sure that your system is meeting these requirements in the table. If you're not sure what hardware you got, they have also made this video here below the table showing you how to figure that out. The third solution is to go to file, go to project settings, go to general, and then you want to set the renderer here against software only, and then click on OK. If you get the error trying to export, then head over to the export tab here, expand the video tab, click on more, and then scroll down to the encoding settings and set the performance against software encoding, and then simply try to export. The next solution is to check the timecode, which you will find in the error. And you can see here in my case, that around timecode 44 seconds, the error was triggered. And you can see exactly at that point in time, it's the beginning of a nested sequence and in that case you can try to simply remove it altogether or if the clip has some kind of effect applied to it try to remove the effect and then export. Here are some other things you can look for at around the timecode. I will leave a link to this article in the description. The fifth solution is to change the video preview format. To do this click on the program monitor or on the timeline panel then go to sequence sequence settings and then under video previews you want to set this one against quicktime and then you can set it to apple prores 422lt then click on ok and then click on ok again and now you can try to render your sequence this solution brings us to the sixth solution which is to use smart rendering so to use this function click on sequence and then you want to render into out Ooh, okay, it's finished. You should be able to see a green line above the sequence once it's finished. Then open the export tab and now you want to set the preset against match sequence preview settings and then click on export. Next solution is to click on sequence and then click on delete render files. And here you want to confirm. If that didn't work, a very popular solution is to copy all the clips to a new sequence. So to do this, simply right click this tab here then click on reveal sequence in project right click the sequence here then go to new sequence from clip now you want to delete the clip that's already in the new sequence click on the old sequence select all the clips here right click one of them and then go to copy then open the new sequence and press ctrl v on a mac you will press command v to paste creating a new sequence like this ensures that the new sequence has the correct project settings as well sometimes you may have to readjust the audio levels it's not only the video previews that may become corrupt it may also be the case for media cache to fix this go to file and then you want to close the project and remember to save now click Click on edit, go to preferences and then click on media cache, click on delete and then select the second option here and click on OK. Then Premiere will automatically shut down and you will have to start it again. If that didn't work, we want to make sure that your graphics card's driver is up to date as well. In Windows, you can simply go to the device manager and from here expand the display adapters and then right click your dedicated GPU, click on update driver, click on search automatically for drivers and then you can see here in my case my GPU is up to date. However, if yours is not, I recommend updating it and then hopefully you won't see the error. If your driver is also up to date like this, I will show you how to manually update your driver. To do this, simply google your graphic card's name here, followed by driver, and then click on the first organic result, so make sure it's not a add. And in my case, I have an Nvidia GPU. However, this will pretty much be the same whatever manufacturer. So here you simply fill out 
both your GPU's specifications and also for Nvidia choose the studio driver click on search then you want to download it and once it's downloaded you simply go through the installation process the thing with the error compiling movie is that this is not a specific error as you can see here in the article I've written you have the error code 3 you have the error code 4, you have error code 19, and all of these has their own solutions. So I have written this article here, and then I've also written more specifically about the different errors on my website. I will leave a link to this article in the description, and also to some videos you can check on the different errors. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and thanks for watching.